Hello everyone, it's Dr. Cleopatra Gordon Pusey back again with Life is Beautiful MD and Life is Beautiful Ministries. I love the month of December. It's the month that we commemorate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Merry Christ Mass, Merry Christmas. I hope you had a wonderful week. Thank you for joining us again, where two or three are gathered in anything concerning that of Christ, that of God, he's in our midst. So I want to talk to you today about paying attention to what is it that you do have. Are you breathing? Can you take a deep breath with me? Do it again. Yes, you are, you're breathing. Thank God you're not in a hospital. You're not on an oxygen mask. You are not on a ventilator. You don't need mechanical respiration to help you breathe. Even if you do, and even if you are on a respirator, you probably can't understand what I'm saying, but anyone has loved ones that is on a respirator or anyone that has oxygen because of any COPD or anything like that, you are still alive, you're still well, you're still in the land of the living, and as long as there's life, there's hope. I want us to focus on what we have here and now. I want us to focus on the fact that we have our eyes to see, our ears to hear, our mouth to speak, our mouth to eat. I know some of us don't understand, but some people cannot swallow. If they swallow, the food will go down the wrong pipe and get in their lungs and they will aspirate and it will be detrimental to their health. So they have a feeding tube in their stomach. Some people are not able to use the restroom. So they have tubes in the different areas to help them use the restroom. Some people are not able to use their hands for whatever reason. They have multiple sclerosis. They have a stroke. They are crippled, God forbid, from a car accident or something like that. But we have our hands to move, to praise the Lord, to clap, to pray, to do so many things. I want us to pay attention to what is it that we do have. We have our legs to walk, to move, to get up, to go. We have so much to give God thanks for. So let us, this Christmas, this season, not look on the things that we don't have, not look on the things that doesn't, it can't add, not a titter to our life. God said in his word in the New Testament, look at the birds of the air and the lilies of the field. They toil, neither do they spin, and not even in Solomon is clothed in all his, all his glory as they are clothed. He said, if he takes care of the birds of the air and the lilies of the field, how much is he gonna take care of us? Let us give God thanks for the things we have, for what we have, and don't look at what we don't have. You have eyes to see, ears to hear, mouth to speak, to eat, hands to pray, to praise the Lord, to give thanks, you have feet to walk, to move. You know, in him we live, we move, and we have our being. So instead of focusing on the things that we don't have, let's focus on the things that we do have. We have our minds. There are people that are suicidal. There are people that are homicidal. There are people that are depressed. There are people that are anxious. And if you're not one of those people, let us give God thanks. So in this Christmas season, instead of focusing on the big presents, give, there's a song that Michael Jackson and Jackson 5 sing. Give love on Christmas Day. Give forgiveness on Christmas Day. Every day. But let us focus on those things. Let us focus on the family and the friends that we, you know, we have ought with. Let's go back and fix that. Let's go talk to them. Let's give someone a phone call. Let's cheer up someone today. If you have any loved one in a nursing home, in a group home, you know, a neighbor that you haven't seen, let's reach out. Let's reach out and go and make somebody smile. Your presence is more important than the present, okay? A lot of times we're going to a party, we're going somewhere else, we're worried about bringing the presence. The presence, these presents, right? But your presence, you in person, is the best present that you give to somebody else. Give them your love. Give them your kindness. Give them a hug. Give them your peace. Speak peace into their life. Pray for someone. Let us focus on the things that we need to focus on this Christmas. It's not just about the beautification and everything like that. It's about the small things that we do that make a big difference. 
You know, there's a there's a passage that says, be careful, you may entertain angels unaware. So let's be careful about those people that we see on the streets that we pass and we don't give them a dollar or two dollars because we're worried that they're going to do the wrong things. I know a lot of times we're at the, the stoplight or the stop sign and somebody comes up and they're asking for money. And a lot of people don't give them any money. They're going to do drugs or something like that. Well, I'm not giving them the money to do drugs or to buy alcohol. I'm giving it to them to buy some food. And when I give it to them, that's exactly what I say. Buy some food with it. For as much as you've done to the least of these, you've done it unto God. So in this Christmas, let's not get focused on the presence. Let's get focused on our presence and what we have inside and let's share it with the world. Joy to the world that the Lord has come. So at this time, let me just give you a quick prayer and let us just continue living from the B-I-B-L-E, the basic instruction before leaving earth. Let us continue to let our light so shine before men that others may see our good work and glorify God in heaven. Father God, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. We thank you for your loving kindness, your grace, your mercies. We thank you for your peace that passes all understanding. We thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to be born on this earth. This month commemorates the month that he claimed he's born on this earth. We thank you for allowing him to die for our sins, to reconcile us to you. We thank you for you being such an awesome God, such a loving God, such a kind God. We thank you because in you we live and we have our being. We thank you for giving us eyes to see, ears to ear, hands to move, body to move. We just thank you for the simple things that we take for granted each and every day. I pray that you may bless and keep every one of your children. I pray that you may cover us under your blood. I pray that you may cover us in your love. I pray that you may dispatch your angels from the east, the west, the north, and the south to encamp around your children, to take away the depression from those that are depressed, remove the suicidal thoughts for those that are suicidal, remove the homicidal thoughts for those that are homicidal. I pray, O oh God, that you may provide for your people, provide for your children. You see those that need rent, that needs food, that needs water, that needs money to pay their light bill. Father, I pray that you may provide for your children, provide for your people, O oh God. I pray that you may help each and every one of us that we may look beyond our home, beyond our borders, and look and see where there's need and give some love and some tangible offerings to people that need it, oh God. I pray that you may continue to bless us, oh God. I pray that we may continue to look to you from whence comes our help, because all our help come from you. And I pray, God, within this season, that we may not get caught up in ourselves and in everything that we are doing, but we may look and see how we can reach out and help others, oh God. We just thank you for loving us. We thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, as a gift to us, as the greatest gift that you could have given to us. We just praise you, we magnify you, we glorify you. And you and you alone, oh God, are the God that is bigger and stronger and higher than anybody, anything else on this earth, oh God. We just continue to look to you. We praise you, we honor you, we glorify you. We just thank you for everything you've done, everything you're doing, and everything you're going to do. In Jesus' name we pray. With much love and thanksgiving, God. Amen, amen, amen. So this Christmas, let us not forget what the most important thing is. Give up yourself. Give up yourself and don't focus on the present, but focus on your presence. You go and be present with someone else that needs you and give up yourself. And that's the best gift you could give. Be blessed. Continue to let your light so shine. And until we meet again, this is Dr. Cleopatra Gordon Pusey. Life is Beautiful MD and Life is Beautiful Ministries. Take care. Bye bye. Please help me share this love and cheer during this Christmas season by sharing this with someone that you love and care about and doing that which I have asked you to do. Reach out to someone, bless someone, and be a tangible blessing in someone's life by just reaching out to them, even if it's a phone call.